Hi there, it's Marissa and I have a new Watch Me DG Scrap video today. Today I'll be using an old bundle from a leaf called Buried Treasures. And I'm just starting here downloading some of the pocket cards to stick in my layout. Then I will also download, I've decided I like all these papers, so I'm just going to go ahead and download the kit. And then I will come back later for some elements. So here is my spread for week 37. I already have my photos in place from the, the week. Um, and then later on I will come back in and add in these decorations. So I'm just putting in some of the pocket cards that I liked. I don't have any particular rules that I use when I'm putting in my papers, although I do tend to alternate um, between a lighter paper and a darker paper, as well as a pattern paper and then a more plain paper. So you can kind of see as I'm going through, I've stuck that brown one in um, and I'm putting in some of these gray ones around and then I'm going back in and adding in some of these brighter papers with a bit more pattern to them. Also, if there's a really distinct pattern, like this uh, navy one with the flowers on top, I will go ahead and add that in um, probably in three places to make kind of a triangle effect um, across the two pages. You can see there that I've got a bit of a triangle going on. Um, so that just helps to, you know, create cohesion between the two pages and to help people kind of, you know, take in the whole thing. The text here I had already done when I put my photos in at the time that these photos were taken. Um, and so now I'm just going to create, turn it into a more of a tag. So I'm adding a background and then I'll bring in a paper to make it look more complete, like it maybe came with this kit. I'm going to add in here now the um, title of the place where we were, which is a state park that's right near our house. Um, and then I will actually go online to look up the date from by looking at the photo um, because it was several weeks ago, so I no longer remember. And just going and checking the photo here is the quickest way to get the date. So now I'm going to start placing my elements. I'm trying to think if I have any particular rules that I use when putting my elements in. I think I kind of just go for it. Um, you know, I keep, you know, a basic um, triangles in mind. You know, you want to create different triangles for the eyes to go to. Um, aside from that, I think I just kind of look and see what's available and see what I feel like putting in. <laughs> so not much help, but fun for me. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.